guys, my hair is a little bit of a mess, but ignore it. I decided to come up with a little bit of a new look for you guys. I tend to go for more of the flashier looks. I actually just sat down and I was gonna do a cut crease, and I did sort of do it. I mean, there's still a little bit of a something going on there, but whatever. I really like the way it turned out. I love these colors. I especially love these colors for the fall that's coming up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey you guys, sorry about the abrupt ending there with the with that little cut of thank you for watching. But yeah, I'm starting off adding some concealer to my eyes. It's just because I have a lot of, since I'm so pale and I'm so white, I have a lot of veins on my eyes and I don't like the way it looks. It also helps keep my makeup on longer and just I'm just using a little brush to blend it all out. I do eventually use my finger. I feel like the warmth of my finger is just a lot easier to blend it out and it blends out beautifully. But um, I didn't record it. <laughs> So I start off with this really light color from the Morphe 35W palette. I'm just building up colors on my crease. I'm gonna go in with lighter colors, then some oranges, some purples, and things like that. Just, again, trying to build it up little by little. I'm taking this uh, dark orange one. I thought I was going for the brown one. I'm taking this dark orange one and adding it onto my crease as well. Again, going in with some purple, blending it into the crease. Uh, I switch up brushes a lot depending on um, what I feel like is gonna work best for me at the moment. And I, I'm, I don't know, I'm weird. I don't know what works really well with what yet. I haven't completely mastered it. I am no professional. I just kind of look up ideas and sometimes I sit down and I have no idea what I'm doing. Like the, this, the, the day I recorded this video, I sat down there with the intention of doing a cut crease and then I ended up doing something completely different. <laughs> sometimes I just, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm just adding some black on there and trying to deepen up that outer crease. I am going to clean it up with a makeup wipe later on. So this is the Revlon palette that I'm going to be using to get that cut crease effect on my eyelid. I also feel like this actually helped a lot when I put on that gold color because of the fact that it's a sticky um, kind of cream based eyeshadow. So when I put on the actual gold, it held on really well. And I had it on for a long time. So you can see the precision that I'm trying to pull off here. I've never done a cut crease before. I'm sorry if I'm stiffing like two. I've been very sick, which is why this video hasn't been up. I've been extremely sick. I haven't been able to do the voiceover at all for it. When you do makeup, you know, you experiment and you do with whatever you like and you know, you try new things. Sometimes they're not gonna come out good. And if they do, then awesome. Hopefully you can recreate it. Sometimes I can't recreate looks that I've done before. But you experiment and you try to do your own thing. You know, you do different things and makeup is a way of expression somehow and a way for you to do whatever makes you happy and whatever you feel like expresses yourself. Made sense? <laughs> So this is when I decided that I was gonna take the gold. <laughs> there is, I did cut out a big part of me thinking about it, but I did go, I did decide that I was gonna do the gold. I just wanted something extra. And with this gold, I did pat it on with my finger because I felt like I was getting more product. I did try to do it with a brush, but I don't like doing it with a brush as much. So I just pat it on with my finger, and then I used the brush for those exact corners because my fat finger doesn't let me, <laughs> doesn't let me go into the corners. And I did actually miss the very upper line I don't know if you can tell, but the very upper line, I did leave it a little bit blank. I kind of wish I would have fixed that. But I did notice in after when I was editing, like right now, right before I did this voiceover, I was like, oh. Just like I did put on mascara. Sorry, you guys, I also didn't put on mascara. But you can add mascara and, and falsies to this look if you like. And then I didn't 
I did record like me doing my whole face but I didn't bother putting it up because for me this was mostly for the eyes and I have I'll link down below my other videos where I do do full face makeup Now I'm grabbing this very light gold and I'm just going to put that on the corner. I put an excessive amount. <laughs> I apologize. And I did put it in the middle of my eyelid. It's just this gold. Once I was putting it on, I thought it was so bright and beautiful. And then what I did was that I got the same colors that I used for the top to blend in. And then the gold, and I put it on the outside, the darker colors, and I put the gold on the inner bottom lash line. I also added some eyeliner, which I also have in tutorials, in other tutorials. I will link down below as well. I hope you guys like the look, and thank you guys. Alright, so that was it for the video. I hope you guys thought it was an easy look to recreate. I hope you guys will do it. And if you do do it, go ahead and tag me on my Instagram that I'm going to have down below. Follow me and tag me in a picture if you do get to recreate it or to do it. I know this look is not like brand new. I'm sure somebody must have done it out there before. But I just sat down and started doing whatever came to mind. I didn't really focus so much on the face, lipstick, or anything like that. My big focus on this is the eyes, and then you pair it with whatever you feel like you like. But yeah, like I said before, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, you guys.